My name's Carl Kingston Miles and my track is No Way by a band called Kunk. Kunk. We tried to um, keep our music video within the conventions which um, Andrew Goodwin set up. So it's saying like um, rock videos don't really have like dance routines and you know bling and all that sort of thing. So we tried to keep things to a minimum. So like we did that, tried to do that with everything like the mise en scene, with the clothes, with like the the surroundings, how like the colours were kept matte and things like that. Really, um, we believe that the the music fit the visuals. Uh, the song is based upon guilt, which is somewhat paranormal. Therefore. It'd be wise to contradict you and theory that there must be a relationship between the music and the visuals. For example, the colour palette is rather matte and dull. This fits both the genre and the lyrics. Goodman also stated that genres have a particular video style. This includes hair, clothes, makeup, mise en scène. As a punk rock video, it would be inappropriate to include dance routines and bling. This is usually featured in videos such as Beyonce's Sweet Dreams. My video wanted to capture the whole essence of guilt and despair. This is achieved for a number of ways, but mainly through the iconography and mise en scène, and also the lack of choreographed dance routines that are featured in R&B genres. This mise en scène was a woodland coupled with casual clothes and unkempt hairstyles, allowed to portray the characters one was in shock, disbelief, horror and guilt, which was following him. The surroundings also allowed it to convey a state of mind, what the character is in, which is bleak, mad and dull. Various screen grabs demonstrate this. The ancillary text refer to the DVD digipack and the magazine advert. Both the magazine advert and DVD digipack must complement the overall finished project. I have chosen to keep the map theme throughout the whole project from production to presentation. For example, on the front cover of the digipack, I have chosen to use a full picture that was shot whilst the video was filming the video in order to give the audience the style of music and also what LCIS has to offer. This is the key function of DVD digipack. This is vital not only to attract initial sales, but to also take advantage of the audience's attention by displaying other works. The use of thermal displays and screen grabs from the band imitators. Also, from my audience research, I found that many people find value in a well presented digipack. From this, I used the information and presented a digipack that was eye catching and which also conformed to subcultures that have been adopted by genre followers. From my audience feedback, I used the website surveymonkey.com, in which I gathered responses from friends and family. I aimed the questionnaire at both those who listen to the genre of music and those who do not to gain a balanced view. The results were as follows. From these select few results, we can see the video had fulfilled most, almost every requirement that Goodman had laid down for, for a specific music genre. These results go on to prove that Goodman was correct in his theories and that they are all sometimes, if not always, applied subconsciously to music videos. More results are featured on the next slide. I've also learned from my research that followers of certain subcultures do not specifically follow certain genres. Therefore, I can only draw one conclusion from this. It is not entirely true that members of a certain group, subcultural fashion section, are more inclined to listen to a particular type of music, which sadly happens to be thought, of, thought of en masse in today's society. Overall, I believe my audience research has taught me some valuable lessons. However, I also believe that it has confirmed many of the projections that were made by Andrew Goodwin, particularly in the light of music and visual relationships where it's been proved time and time again 
that is vital to all music videos that at least some special relationship is evident. If a video is lacking this relationship, the whole product becomes meaningless. Throughout the planning stages, I presented my work electronically using Ming.com, which is a social networking site. This allowed me to produce work that would have been in a paper document electronically to give my work a more professional approach. A series of tabs were created to allow easy navigation to my different materials. To present my work, I chose to use PowerPoint to create a series of slides rather than written documents. The PowerPoint presentations allow me to create dynamic and visual presentations that are more appealing and seem more appropriate to the media industry. Using PowerPoint also allowed me to share my work globally. In today's society, this is spoiled, as many works are now already available and shared within the global community. The construction stages were far more complicated. The construction includes fi filming rushes and editing these rushes to the finished project. The DVD digipack was completed using Photoshop, Photoshop CS3, so as a magazine advert. The editing process was complete, completed using Adobe Premiere Editing Suite. Once the rushes were transferred onto the computer, the composite edit was completed. We were then instructed to lip sync the music to ensure the video was genuine and to the best quality we could produce. To complete this, I agreed really had to play around with the song itself so it fitted the visuals. Usually, this would have been attempted, but to film it out, we had to try the song for some reason. But, um, We then found that the song fitted the lip syncing perfectly. Once the lip syncing was complete, the group then added special effects to the project using special effects tools on the program. Okay, how did you, you it was Surly Monkey that you, um, yeah. did, did you get feedback from the band as well? Um, no, we didn't, no. Okay, but were there any surprises from the feedback that you weren't expecting? Um, I was kind of expecting it really because we kept within the genres which Andrew Gibbon said. So I think if, if we had like departed from them and like gone against what he said, then we'd have got more surprising results from that. I think. Give me one strength of your video and one weakness. Um, I think the 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 middle and saying the the surroundings and the whole the whole idea of like the guilt and despair was our strength. I think the weakness is probably um, I'm not sure actually. It was probably like um, when we were doing the running scenes, when we had to hold the camera like that, it wasn't steady enough. So I think um, the shots was probably a weakness in our video. Favourite editing technique or tool or uh, filter? It had to be lip syncing, I think. Definitely, I really enjoyed that because we had to chop the song about to make sure it fitted the um, film because we missed a lot of film, so that was good fun. So I enjoyed that. It was a good learning curve for me as well, so. Carl, thanks very much.